Guten Morgen, meine Herren und Fräuleinen. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance, everybody. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long-term bubblehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stopping a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And I just discovered the darndest thing this morning. So there I was in my beautiful bathrobe, which is covered in sweat and grime and dip juice and all sorts of other unspeakable things. And I decided to check the ARC ETF managed by Kathy Wood. Well, she actually has multiple ETFs, but ARC is her company. And then she has the ARC line of ETFs. She has like a genomics ETF. She has a FinTech ETF. She has her generic, you know, ARC, A-R-K-K ETF. Basically, A-R-K-K, ARC, ARC the ARC, ARC my ARC. <laughs> that is her flagship ETF. And her ETFs got massive, connected to your got massive popularity during the pandemic. Why? Because the whole market was flooded with stimmy checks and cheap money. I mean, interest rates cratered to almost nothing. So you could borrow on margin, you paid almost no interest, money was just sloshing around and it went into stocks and all her freaking stocks pumped up. And that ETF arc saw massive, massive gains. And I was looking and I was just like, holy freaking crap. I think it went, almost to $150 per share, which is freaking nuts, you know, when you think about where it started. So I actually decided to compare the performance of ARC to the performance of the Vanguard Total World Stock Market Index ETF, BT. And I compared it from the start of the pandemic. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, when did ARC become popular? Was it before the pandemic? Or was it after the pandemic? And I want you to be perfectly honest with yourself. Honest by bonus. ARC became popular after the pandemic started because they got massive freaking returns. When did VT become popular? Well, I don't think it's ever been popular. But when you're, if somebody was buying VT, they didn't start buying VT during the pandemic, okay? They started buying VT when they started investing. <laughs> VT is not a, a hype driven thing. It's a very, you know, slow, steady chug to the moon. So I actually measured the performance of ARC to VT from the start of the pandemic. And my, my assessment of when the pandemic started was right before that massive drop. Because really the drop in the stock markets, global stock markets, that kind of indicated when people started taking this thing really seriously. And that's when all the lockdowns started happening, blah, blah, blah. So roughly February, late February, early March 2020 is when everything started going crazy. And shockingly enough, guess which ETF is still up from the day before the market started dropping versus now, compared to now? It's VT. <laughs> so I did some very rough napkin math. And ARC, oh, what was ARC? ARC was at like 58 or something like that before the pandemic drop, and now it's in the 40s. So it's down 10, 15, 20%. You look at VT, look at right before it dropped, pick out the price, it was in the 80s, I believe. So VT is still up 10, 15% from the start of the pandemic. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, guys. This is exactly what I'm saying. Now, of course I'm picking an arbitrary date, but I think it's actually pretty pertinent in this comparison because people were not buying ARC. I mean, some people were obviously, but most people were not buying ARC until after the pandemic started. I never heard of freaking ARC until the pandemic and everybody was talking about it. ARC, 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 it's the future, Tesla by Tesla. Everybody bought into ARC well above where it's in now because that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. People that buy stocks, even you know hedge funds, all these other clowns, a lot of people buy stocks only after they go up. That's just how it works. And when you look at the average cost basis of ARC, I bet you it's in the hundreds. I 100%, I 100% guarantee it. Because ARC was popular with retail investors. You know all the clowns that did Wall Street bets and bought AMC, which is getting wrecked, and G uh, GameStop, which is getting freaking annihilated. All of those clowns are the same clowns that bought freaking ARC. Okay. 
So let this be a lesson to you all. You can laugh at VT. You can make fun of VT. Oh, it's performance sucks and blah, 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 blah. And ARC is the future and just buy Tesla, bro. Tesla's up this year versus ARC or versus uh, VT. I, I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure Tesla's crushing VT this year. But if you take the long view, and you look at when stocks become popular and when people actually buy them, when people actually buy ETFs, you freaking lose. But if you just started buying BT 11 years ago, like one genius I know, I've always been in the market as long as Jeremy. I mean, Jeremy's got a little bit more experience than me, obviously, but I have been buying the total world since I was 21. So yeah, 11 years. And if you just keep buying the world over and over again, you're not gonna get these crazy freaking returns. Not gonna have your mind blown, but what you avoid is buying some something like ARC at its peak. The more you the more you look at the market, the more you watch these YouTube channels, the more likely you're gonna get sucked into that hole by the top phase. So ARC is just getting wrecked. And to be honest, I mean, I even looked at uh, Teladoc. I was actually a little bit interested in it, even without the impairment charge. And I, I should do a video. Even without the impairment charge, it's still pretty unprofitable. So even something that seemed promising like Teladoc, I'm not so sure about that. Basically all her stocks are just unprofitable garbage, except for Tesla. And the last domino for ARC is going to be Tesla. And you think ARC has been wrecked now? If Tesla falls 50%, 60%, which is possible, it's highly possible, 70%, I can say that's possible. It's a bunch of Mark is just going to implode massively. And once that happens, because they're already getting, they're probably getting like fun flows. You know, they're probably people are already selling all that crap. You're not gonna believe how low Mark can go. And there will be VT just chugging along. It'll go up, it'll go down. You're not gonna get these fantastic returns. You're not gonna 10X. But I'm gonna beat everybody. And I can't wait for the day when I could plot Tesla and VT on a chart and compare them and realize that, oh my God, looks like VT outperformed Tesla. Now that's gonna be tough. That'll be really tough. But Tesla really shot up after the freaking pandemic, 100%. You look, look at the chart of Tesla. It started shooting up during the pandemic. It's basically like a delayed arc, 100%. Arc shot up, started shooting up right when the pandemic started, right after the brief dip. And Tesla, rocketed to the freaking moon. And all those clowns that were calling Tesla, oh, I'm a genius, oh my God, just buy an unprofitable car company. At the time. Now they're looking like geniuses, but it's just like ARC, man. It's just like ARC. So go plot it for yourself. It's pretty freaking hilarious. We, I have outperformed ARC buying freaking VT in my tax advantage accounts. And I didn't do anything. It's that easy. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go to work and... Maybe I'll have time to do some teledoc analysis tonight. We'll see. Y'all have a wonderful day. Cheers!